A car starts its journey by accelerating from rest at a constant rate of 0.7 meter per second for 20 seconds before reaching a constant speed of 14 meter per second. So let's analyze what graph is given to me. It is a speed time graph. So I look at my y axis, it is speed and my x axis, it's actually the time. Now, what is this 0.7? Question says it is acceleration. In a speed time graph, your acceleration is actually representing your gradient. And usually how do you find gradient? Rise over run. What is the meaning of rise over run? The change in the y with respect to the change in the x. You are dividing them. So let's look. What is the change in your y? This is the rise part. So how much? We have 14 and we have 0 here. So it is technically 14. That's a change in the y. What is the change in the x? 0 to 20 so 20 second so you should do 14 divide by 20 and that's why you get 0 0.7 meter per second squared then the question continues by saying the car travels at 14 meter per second for a distance of 210 now what does distance represents in a speed time graph it's exactly area below the curve or the graph so 210 how do you calculate 210 as a area you are already having 14 as your height so how much will you take on the time that it gives you 210 14 times by you don't know the measure of time and you must get 210 if you're not so sure you can use the formula of speed which is distance over time what we know we know that the speed exactly is 14 you know that the distance is 210 and you are trying to look for the time so this expression and this expression is exactly the same now when you calculate for the t you will end up with 15 t is 210 divided by 14 which is 15 second so you need to travel for another 15 second so that your distance covered is 210 so 20 okay where are you stopping you are stopping exactly at 20 second here so you add another 15 second to that you will go until 35 second so you just make a flat line until here done then they are saying the car decelerates at a constant rate of 1.4 before coming to a stop what is the meaning of stopping your speed is returning back to zero now deceleration is exactly slowing down or you can say the value of acceleration is actually negative i'm going to get acceleration as negative 1.4 now let's try so 1.4 is my gradient value i need to find the rise over run so how much is your rise it's still 14 the change in the y is still 14 your run is the measure of the time which you are not so sure yet so your t is exactly 14 divided by 1.4 which is 10. So you are at 35 now. You add up another 10 and you can stop decelerating. See you slowing down. What is the meaning of slowing down? As the time increases, your speed is decreasing. Your speed is decreasing gradually.